What's going on everybody? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to another video. On this channel, I make reselling content and anything that's going to help new resellers shorten the learning curve. And I also make sourcing videos. So if that seems like something that you're into, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll know when I drop another video. So it appears I have a hater at the Goodwill Bands. Someone's trying to get me banned for filming in there. So I decided to take a break from there for a minute. So we're gonna hop into some thrift stores. Right now we're outside of a Goodwill. So let's go inside and see what we can find. All right guys, before I start going over my finds, they got these Lucky Brand jeans right here guys, but check out the price tag on these boys. $21, man. Super duper, no room for profit on those. Too bad though, because Lucky Brand is a good brand. So to start it off guys, we got a bunch of bread and butter pairs of American Eagle khakis. Nothing special. We got one, two, three of those. And I know I got another one in here somewhere. So nothing special on these, but I'll be able to get about $18 a piece and I'll be paying four bucks on all three of those. Next up is this Buffalo David Biden. Brand new with tags, so they want $7 for these. Uh, $7 still leaves me a ton of room with profit. Um, I'll probably be able to sell these for about 25 to 30 bucks. Now, if you guys know anything about me, I don't like to pay up for Levi's. So here I am paying seven dollars for a pair of levi's 550 size 33 32 but you know that's how it is when you gotta pay thrift store prices man so this is what i'll be paying for these and uh these will probably go for easily 15 dollars but i'm gonna since i'm paying so much for them i'm definitely gonna have to try and sell them for about 25 bucks okay guys another find i got is these orvis jeans there's nothing special about them they're just beige jeans but the sold comps are going for $40 for free shipping and $33 with shipping, $24.99. But those are for actual khakis and these are jeans. Then we got just a couple more, $29, $23, $23. So I'm going to go ahead and get these. My only concern is that these aren't like Levi's or something that younger men will wear. And there's fraying on the legs. So I don't know, maybe I'll just discount them, you know, sell them for like $30 or something like that. And uh, I'm gonna be paying $4 for these. All right guys, next up we got these J. Crew corduroy pants, nothing special. Just a simple little bread and butter item. Uh, they want $4 for these and I'll be able to sell these for about 18 to $20, possibly even more. I'll pop a sell comp up on the screen for you guys. All right guys, next up I got these, the Everett by Adriano Goldschmidt. These jeans are definitely, well these aren't even jeans, these are actually khakis. But they're just some embroidered uh, khakis. A little embroidery on the back pocket. Nothing special, but the sell through is pretty high on these. And they're selling for about $35 and they want four bucks. So these are gonna be a good buy right here. So one of the things that I've learned recently is that Oakley makes golf clothes and they're pretty decently, uh, they go for and they resell for a decent little value so i'm gonna get these but the thing about these guys is that the legs have been hemmed but it won't be much work to just pull that uh thread out right there and um just throw them to the washing machine and let them get uh the crease washed out of it and it should be able to go for a pretty decent return on my investment on these and i'm going to be paying four dollars for these Okay, so this is a brand that I've seen a couple of times before, but I've actually never picked it up. So I looked these up. They're called the RVCA Daggers Denim. Uh, there's a few sold and a few uh, listed, and they're going for about 25 to 35 bucks. These are going to be four dollars, so I'm going to go ahead and get them. Okay, guys, something that I've just found for the first time is Adidas Addy Cross. they golf pants. Uh, they want four dollars for these. They're in pretty good condition and they go for about $35. So that's going to be a for sure pickup. Now the last pair of pants that I got is this American Eagle jeans. Really sucks that I got to pay up for these. These are the original boot, but these will sell for about $25. However, I am paying a whopping $7 for these which is pretty tough to do because if you guys know anything about my channel and me when I'm sourcing, I get these at the Goodwill Bins for under $2 all the time. So 
kind of sucks, but hey, still gonna make some money out of it. Nice. Now for the shirt. So we got this iron and resin, just a basic uh, t-shirt. This is the label. So they want four dollars for this shirt, which uh, is a decent amount for a t-shirt. So they want four dollars for this t-shirt, and it'll probably sell for about eighteen to twenty-four bucks. So small return or a uh, small investment for an okay return. But we got this Polo Ralph Lauren shirt right here. It's the basic uh, polo shirt. Uh, medium, they want $4 for it, and these will sell for about $18 to $20. And last up, but not least, we got the exclusive Tommy Hill figure. Vintage, it's made in the USA tag. Man, this thing is straight out of my childhood. I had this, I got it for Christmas one year, man. Uh, it's a size large and straight fresh embroidery. I do believe it is authentic. I just really honestly don't know, guys. But they want they want eight dollars for it that still leaves a ton of profit to be made off of that thing guys so i'm definitely going to cop it so i just found this j crew sweater they want four dollars for it and they're going for anything from 30 to 20 49 39 32 that's cashmere this is actually merino merino wool so uh yeah man still even at Four dollars is still a decent amount of money to be made. That's a turtleneck, four nine, fourteen ninety nine on bids. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it, guys. Uh, four dollars isn't too much of an investment. So if it doesn't sell fast, uh, at least it will sell, and I can always return it, but I wouldn't like to. So they got this REI men's jacket. This is a good brand to look out for, guys. But they want fourteen dollars for this jacket, and it's only selling for about thirty five to forty bucks. So Depending on how quick it would sell, it would be okay for me to make the investment. But man, I'm still trying to get back into the swing of paying thrift store prices as it is. So I'm gonna just ease on into this one. But I did find this Polo Ralph Lauren cardigan, right? They only want, I believe, $7 for it. I looked up comps on this, and I can't find out if it's a men or a women's right off the flip, but I believe it's a men's, and I've seen comps as high as $120. So um, I'm gonna get that and take that home and we'll see what we can get for that one. North Face, 28 bucks. I don't even have words for this, guys. $28 for the North Face. What? Okay, guys, so I was getting ready to leave and I found these Patagonia jackets. Two of them. Two of these Patagonia jackets. So they want $12 a piece for the both of them. But anybody that knows anything about Patagonia knows I can probably turn these into about a $35, $45 bill very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and cop those too. All right, guys. So it's a pretty successful trip to the Goodwill there. Um, I got 21 items for a total uh, cost of 114 bucks. Now, you guys know this a whole lot more than what I'm used to paying. But in dire straits, uh, I have to uh, do what I got to do, you know, so was able to get a decent amount of inventory. I'll probably be able to make an easy $500 off of everything I got here. Not the profit margins that I'm used to, but it's still some good stuff at the end of the day. So I'm thankful that I was able to find stuff. Got at least a day's worth of listing. So that matters. Um. I'm going to head to another thrift store. My GoPro battery is getting ready to die, so I'm not going to be able to film. So that's going to do it for this one. Catch you guys on the next one. But until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.